Rich, where are we and why are we here? We're at the Titleist Manchester Lane Test Facility. This is our proving ground for our R&D engineers to understand how golf balls perform. This facility allows us to test golf balls in a bunch of different ways. It gives us all the resources we possibly have to get the final piece conducted and get golf balls to our consumers. Titleist is constantly striving to improve test methods and learn more about golf ball performance. If a test machine or process doesn't exist, they invent it. In 2015, we went and built a laboratory green. It's about 100 yards long, it's 30 yards wide, and it's incredibly flat. This area was specifically built to learn more about how golf balls react when they come into greens, the angles of descent, spin rates, and speed. But the team at Manchester Lane didn't stop there. They also created their own short game robot that can hit a wedge shot over and over with precise consistency. The Spider robot helps us establish those real low speed 30 yard chip shot launch conditions. And when we take that data and we put it into our trajectory model, we can predict how the golf ball would land on the ground. So it gives us a robust opportunity for a big breadth of testing. When it comes to golf ball performance, dimples play a vital role. And Titleist engineers use this facility to measure aerodynamic performance of different dimple designs. Since Pro V1 was introduced, we've developed over 2,000 different dimple configurations. And it's things like changing the dimple count, the shapes, the depth of the dimples, all of that stuff comes into play. So we're constantly modifying those different attributes in order to find what is gonna be the next best dimple pattern for us. And one type of test to illustrate the effects of dimples can be seen through an aerodynamic demonstration. If you have a golf ball with no dimples, the interesting thing is the launch condition for that ball and a normal ball is gonna be exactly the same. It's coming off the club face the exact same way every time. Because without the dimples, you reduce the amount of lift force that keeps the ball in the air. So the ball is gonna fly almost a third of the distance that it would otherwise fly. If you put dimples on half of the golf ball, the dimples are gonna essentially reduce drag on one side of the ball. So when the ball gets hit, it's gonna fly towards those dimples. If it's on the right, it's gonna fly to the right. If the dimples are on the left, it's gonna fly to the left. How important is the data that you're gonna create here at Manchester Lane? It's how we make decisions. I mean, if we didn't have data, we'd be making emotional decisions. Everything we do, every decision we make is based on information. The rest of our department, they make cores, they make casings, they make golf balls. We make data so that they can make good decisions. 